tell you, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Unless I've already told you that. Hmm. Wow, I am so glad you're here, because if I got a story for you... Wait, do I have a story for you? Yes, yes I do! It's a story about me, and my friends, oh, and my family! Are you ready? Woohoo, let's go! Uh, quick question, what's that big thing with the wiggly parts? Right! Oh, and what's the floppy doodad that kind of looks like it's got an attitude? Yeah! Keep an eye out for both of those, okay? Now, hmm, where was I? Oh, right! It all started one morning when I was on my way to meet Mr. Ray in his class. bumped right into a huge UFO. Phew, that was a close one. almost there when I saw Nemo playing with somebody new. A friendly jack-in-the-box. <laughs> and then I found Mr. Ray, just in time for class. Good thing I was around, because Mr. Ray needed help. All his students had disappeared. What? When did this happen? Oh, hi, Marlin. This is Marlin. He's my friend. And he looks like... Well, I mean, you can see him right here. Dory, when did the whole class disappear? Well, well listen, I'm telling you. Uh, uh, and you. Wait, I forget. What's that cuddly thing? You know, the one with all the pokey bits. Really? Okay. One more thing. What do you call that noisy thingamajobber? I'm thinking it's a little squishy. Great! Those will come up soon. Okay, here we go. Anyway, 
since I was the teacher's assistant that day, I told Mr. Ray I'd find all six of his missing students. Oh, Dory, come on now. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Come on now, let's find those ki kids. Oh. That's one. 